Why did Tommy Egan forgive Tasha Green or Tasha St. Patrick, whatever? Because I don't grasp this, right? I'm watching it. We're finished season three of Power Book 2. The theories are coming out thick and fast. Hit the subscribe button. Walter Flynn here. But in all seriousness, I don't really understand why Tommy did forgive Tasha Green, right? And to sum up this, I can actually now dive into these Reddit posts because I don't want any spoilers, but he says... Tommy shouldn't have let Sasha slide like that and give her a pass because he came back to New York to find Tasha to offend Keisha's death. You find Tasha and kill federal police officer you can get to Tasha and now you're going to end your beef with her because she drops with your family bullshit. Right. It's ridiculous because I called it at the time, right? It's like, he, he literally killed all oh, the review, which might get up. The, the review will definitely be up, but whether or not it's before or after this video, I can't confirm that. But, uh, you know... Tasha not only killed Keisha, right, even though I mean, she was probably going to rat, right, realistically. Tommy, there's no, like, real proof to that. I mean, it's hearsay. Also, Tasha gave up Tommy in Season 1 of this show, of Power Book 2 Ghost. It's heavy plot armour, all right? There's no reason, right, other than they want to keep Tasha alive. And I want Tasha to die. I think she should die for her crimes in this show. I just don't really grasp why they're so afraid to kill her. And some of these comments may shine light on that. But um, Aiden says, people will try to justify it, but it's just shit right and plain and simple. For some reason, Parr doesn't want Tasha to pay for her crimes. But see, I think the perfect way for Tasha to pay for her crimes would have been jail time. No, honestly, like, I like this show. I like the spin-offs. I like this universe. I think it's a great idea to do this with a TV show if you implement it well. I think The Walking Dead dragged the arse out of it, but the Wrecking Machine one's alright. But right, does this show have a fucking problem with not sending anyone to jail? Like, even people that go to jail, they get out quick. Like, look at 2-Bit, Spanky, Ghost, Tommy, Tasha, Tyreek. Everybody who goes to jail gets out quick. Like, where's these people... Like, is, would, it, would it be too much to ask, right, for someone to go to jail in this franchise, in this show, and then, like, come out later in one of the spin-offs? Or visit them in jail? I just think it's ridiculous. No one does serious time, man, and considering what's at stake, the amount of money and drugs and guns now that's being pushed, I feel like they need to change it. Timely Moose says, I know she lied, but what crimes? You do realize Keisha wrote a statement about the whole organization, right? If it was anybody, that would have been an issue of all. Anyone else? The right is dipped in quality, but Shorty got herself clipped. If you watch the episode, Keisha was the one that tried to attack Tasha. Tasha wanted Keisha to just wait at the house for Tommy, but Keisha set that shit off. I mean, right, that, that's true, I get about that, but at the end of the day, like, Keisha knew if she waited for Tommy, she probably would have died, but yeah. Kate, Tasha still killed her. Sweet Sugar says, I mean, it's heavy plot armor, but if she died, the audience isn't going to care so much about his grandma and Yaz being safe. Right. You can spin that as that argument, but, I mean, I'm not going to pretend, right, that Tasha ain't a bigger character than Big Mama and uh, Yasmin, right? But at the end of the day, it's Tariq wanting to keep his family safe. But again, they're building the whole relationship. It's, surely it should tug more on the heartstrings with him trying to keep his little sister, his baby sister, who's a kid, safe rather than his mum, who's a fucking queen pin. I get, as much as I get that argument, but yeah, um, Bat Beast says. I agreed. I think it can be two things. One, bad writing, and two, Tommy's big, biggest weakness in the series is family and his anger. Yes, but he's killed people. He's, he killed his dad? He killed his dad, man? Come on, folks. Um, Let's see here. I've already read it. I've fucking read that out. Um, she will. Monet or Kane will kill her. I, I'm going to make a fit about that. I think that will happen. Um... I mean, I, I get why people may disagree, right? Why, like, he shouldn't kill her over the whole Keisha thing, but she fucking rat it on him, and it's like, yeah, Tommy was going to kill Ghost, yeah, but he gives Tasha a pass, and it's like, yeah, they killed Ghost, is fucking bear that in mind, right? It was Tasha and Tyreek that fucking pretty much went toe-to-toe -to, -toe to kill Ghost. I know Tasha a wee bit less responsible, obviously Tyreek's the one that pulled the trigger, but Jesus Christ, folks. Yeah. Mess. 
absolute mess. I think the writing is batshit crazy sometimes, guys, but I still enjoy the show. I've called it out when I've had the call out, and I feel like it is every other episode, but here, I think that's the biggest flaw. It's like, they focus so much on, like, the court scenes and the murders and the jail time, when they need to let someone actually do jail time, right? They've never been afraid to kill off characters, but I think Tasha really needs to go at this stage of the game. Anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. Until next time, peace.